Hi everyone. I just want to show you these homemade 12 volt heaters I built about eight years ago. And the idea just sort of popped into my head, so I had to build them. This was the first model. And then I put this smaller one together. Now I have the heater hooked up to a battery charger. And I also have an amp gauge hooked up. You can see how much current is drawing. A little over 15 amps. Now what I'm going to do is take this thermometer here. You can see the temperature right now. It's about 70 degrees Fahrenheit. Or 20 degrees Celsius. And I'm just going to put it up to the output of the fan of the heater here. Let's take a look at this. Now you can see it rising fairly quickly. battery charger right now is just set at 2 amps. So you can see that the heater actually works okay. You can feel a small amount of heat, but it's only drawing about 15 amps. Now, I'm going to hook up this heater and show you how this one performs. I've hooked up the smaller heater to the battery charger. And let's take a look at the amp gauge. Now, this one uses a little less current. And I'm just going to take the thermometer again. Let's check the temperature now. Just going to put it in front of the heater. Let's take a look. This heater is a little uh, noisier than the other one. It actually works pretty well. As you can see that it puts out a small amount of heat. There's only one uh, output area on this fan, on this heater. All the heat comes out of this end. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the covers off of them and just give you a little view inside how to wire the coils. I've taken the cover off the top and I just want to show you the coils. I don't even remember how I wired it, but you can see here I've taken some copper wire and I've wrapped it around the elements and then I've connected it around the bottom element and I've wrapped it around. So I've jumped this one here and I've gone down to the bottom and connected them together. So they're the positive wires. And then if you come over here, these are all negative. So all these are negative connected and they're just all connected together this one moret and the positive wire is then this blue one down here so I'm only using this side of the heating elements this side is not being used and so what I've done is each one of these 
from here to here is one element and so that's how I'm using this at 12 volts instead of 240 volts now if at 240 volts AC it would be using this whole length of the element and then the whole length of this one and same thing on the bottom Now I've taken the cover off the smaller heater and now I remember this is actually uh, warmer out of the bottom of an oven and I've done the same thing I've just this is the positive wire here and it just interconnects all the heating elements in the center and then I have the negative here and a negative here as well so in this heater we have essentially eight elements that run on 12 volts in a parallel circuit. Now you can see they're pretty easy to build and you can get these parts from any old junkyard or uh, local dump and you can build your own heater. Now what you could use them for is if you have a wind generator or solar panels then you can connect these to your battery banks and you could use these to heat a small room or an RV or something and instead of using an inverter to step up the voltage and run a 120 volt heater um, which is okay but you're gonna put wear and tear on the inverter itself instead by using this these things can run for years without burning out and pretty inexpensive to build. Well, if anyone can use this advice or want to build a heater like this, I hope uh, this video can help you. Well, thank you for watching.